Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. This is Luna the Moon Tarot. So let's start with today's energy update. Let's see what is it that your person is feeling and thinking. So this particular tarot deck is <clears throat> new, not new, but then I'm using it for the first time for my reading. So let's see, it's uh, normally a bigger size as compared to the other decks. So I'm going to shuffle it like this and let's see. Okay, so think about your person and let's see what is it that your person is feeling and thinking about you right now. Their current thoughts and feelings. What are your person's current thoughts and feelings? Current thoughts and feelings, please. Current thoughts and feelings. Current thoughts and feelings, please. Current thoughts and feelings, please. Okay. Two of Cups. Nice. I like it. We have Two of Cups. Then we have Four of Coins. This person is in love with you, okay? Four of coins, the wheel. Oh God, the bully, the moon. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it like this because these are normally, uh, I mean, these are bigger cards as compared. <clears throat> Four of swords, the chariot, 10 of cups. Three of Cups here. What else do we have? Seven of coins, okay. King of swords, nine of wands, page of cups here. What else? Three more, please. of cups the tar one more card please oh the empress oh that's a, such a cute card one extra card that we have is two of wands okay let's see what do we have at the bottom of the deck and before i proceed let me take out the other card for advice that i'm gonna use so that the reading goes uninterrupted Okay, so before we start, tell me one thing that hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we have seven of wands. What does that mean? Okay. So I feel that your person... So 
I feel that your person is finding it very challenging. They are not ready to come out of their comfort zone again. Okay, this person um, is trying to avoid all the challenges that has been thrown towards them and they are trying to protect themselves from all the challenges, all the, all the things that are being thrown at them okay at the same point of time i also feel that this person uh, does not want to come out of their comfort level or comfort zone they are just uh, you know they uh, whatever they do in their life they try to do a temporary or a quick fix okay i feel that they are not ready to face any challenge they are not ready to even accept this particular connection or relationship that you both have or share in case if it is just a connection then yes they are not even acknowledging this particular connection with you all right so um with five of coins i feel that this person uh, has some kind of abandonment issues probably they are carrying abandonment issues from their past or i feel that they feel abandoned by you there has been few things that did not go down well between you and your person and i feel that they feel that you know there were things that uh, went wrong between you and your person and i feel that they are feeling that even you kind of abandoned them in a way after doing so many things okay but for sure this person is carrying some sort of abandonment issues with five of wands they feel that you know being in this particular connection will bring a lot of conflicts and this particular connection will not go down well they feel jealous they are very possessive when it comes to you they see uh probably you are somebody who uh is quite smart and people get attracted towards you so they feel that there's a lot of competition as well around okay but yes it is challenging okay to be in this connection that's what they feel all right so with two of cups i feel that uh you know they do realize that that uh, no matter what they try to do they still feel uh somewhere or the other they feel somewhere connected with you with two of cups they know that it is something very special between you and them there is something with two of cups that they feel that you know there's quite uh this particular connection is on a very uh deeper level okay this particular connection is actually on a very deeper level as compared to uh whatever challenges uh whatever connection sorry not challenges but whatever challenges they have been in uh connections oh mercury retrograde okay whatever connections they have been into i think you are the one who came very close to them okay you are the one for whom they felt really 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 uh you know they felt very different they are feeling very different in fact they know that this is something very very deep this thing is something very deep this connection is something which is very deep and they are hiding it with four of coins they are not telling you they are not making it clear in front of you and they are not ready to actually tell you this thing on your face that yes i feel for you they are hiding their feeling they are blocking their heart they don't want to express it in front of you because of their own abandonment issues their own challenges they don't want to come out of their comfort zone they don't want to fall in love again they are you know they are trying to stop themselves and they know and probably you know i feel that this person is unnecessarily getting to uh, you know uh, you know this person actually unnecessarily pick on fights okay yes i'm hearing that this person is actually unnecessarily picking on fights okay with the i think this is the wheel right yeah yep 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 with the wheel of fortune i feel that whatever things that are going uh whatever things that uh the whatever way the things have been between you and your person i feel that uh right now there can be some disturbances there can be some challenges fights right now between you and your person but starting from october or october mid once the mercury retrograde is over things are going to turn out for good the things will start moving in a positive direction and there is abundance that is going to come with the bully card i feel that uh this person has been bullied a lot in the past relationship okay things did not work out in the past relationship and they feel as if you know people are there in this but uh, people are there just to bully them 
i feel that uh, you know this person feels um at times this person uh, can get intimidating with you okay have you ever thought that whenever you try to speak this person never lets you complete or actually this person never lets you uh, express what exactly you feel or go through i feel that this person has gone through the same thing which they are trying to project on this connection or on you so be aware okay take a stand here you need to take a stand here for yourself with the moon card this person is actually full of fears anxiety around this connection because whatever abandonment issues and the bullies and the failures that they have gone through in the past relationship they are just not able to get over it and with four of swords i feel that you you know right now you may be in a no contact situation you may not you guys may not be talking to each other also a possibility is that you both okay with four of swords right now they are feeling overwhelmed with all the emotions around in this particular connection and they are just not able to um accept understand what is it that is going on with them inside them there's a turmoil of emotions that they are feeling for you and i feel because of that they have kind of pushed you away and they have kind of detached from you so that they can go ahead and process those emotions and they can calm themselves down okay now this is okay chariot I feel that this person is rushing towards you to speak there is some kind of direction that they are choosing and this person is going to give this particular connection or direction pretty soon they are thinking about 10 of cups here okay emotions um marriage connecting giving giving it a name of relationship i feel relationship is something that they are thinking about yeah yeah he yeah so till now i feel they were not even accepting that you guys were even dating but now i feel they are thinking of giving it a direction giving calling it a relationship with you and they want wow oh, three of cups and this person wants to reconcile with you okay they know that you are coming ahead and you uh, they want to equally reconcile with you Oh god they want to have party with you break breads with you they want to meet you as soon as possible they even can't stay away from you with seven of coins they are also patiently you know watching waiting where this connection is going how this connection is shaping up and at the same point of time i feel that uh, you know they are giving you a cold shoulder by not telling you they are also uh, very much focused on their work because i think work is also something that is very demanding for them right now with nine of wands i feel that you know after all these things again they are very guarded with their heart they don't want to risk it they don't want to get hurt and be in this uh, five of pentacles uh, situation again in their life they are so scared of it okay they are so scared of opening um, themselves emotionally they are so scared of keep you know putting their heart on stake with page of cups i feel that they feel sad about this connection that how they are treating you they know that they are not treating you right okay they feel sad about it they feel sad the way they treat you okay and they know that they have walked away and they have kind of pushed you away from them and they themselves are not happy okay they are trying to walk away they are breaking up this connection and they feel sorry equally they feel bad of you know that they have they are hurting you a lot but at the same point of time they still know they still see you as their empress they know that you are somebody who is worth it okay who is worth giving a commitment who knows her worth or his worth who uh you know they see in a very high light and respects you a lot okay you are somebody who is very caring very nurturing somebody who commands everything somebody who can be on a very high position earning well i also feel that you can be someone who uh knows your own shit who knows how to handle your own shit basically okay so you are like the mother of all <laughs> okay they see you in a in a very high light they put you up on a pedestal okay they see you in a very high light with two of wands they see future with you they are thinking they men they are actually thinking about the future with you okay they are thinking about the future with you that in case if she's or he is my empress or emperor you know male or female doesn't matter but how will be my future with this person they are thinking okay what else what else do we have here this is for my 
This is the current thoughts and feelings. What else do we have? What else, please? Six of Swords. This person can be traveling right now. Uh, this person also has inner child issues here. Okay, They want loyal people to come in their life and they want people to stick around because if you see this dog, dog is a symbol of loyalty. Okay, And this person has been betrayed and backstabbed a lot in their past. And they want people who are true to them, Okay, who are loyal to them, who will not leave them, who will not move on from them or the connection if they open their heart. So that is something that they are very worried about. So, I, I somewhere down the line, I feel that this time when you are going to communicate, be very careful because communication may get into some kind of argument. Okay, be careful because Knight of Swords is a communication card, but also somebody who is all charged up and coming aggressively towards you. That's what I feel. Knight of Coins, I feel that this person wants to go ahead and, you know, offer you a cup of love, but they are going to be very, very, very slow because they are very unsure of their own feelings. With King of Cups, I feel that, you know, this person definitely cares for you, nurtures this particular connection, but at the same point of time, they're afraid to offer this cup and if you just look at this person they have kept this particular cup so close to their chest because they are scared of offering it to the wrong person okay so now they want to fall in love with the right person they don't want to fall in love with the wrong one they can't risk okay they are they can't risk because they have actually gone through a lot of heartbreak in the past and they can't risk break you know putting their heart on stake again that's what i'm hearing this person have had a very rough past very bad past very rough past in a very early age okay because of which they are scared ten of wands is again the past baggage that they are carrying because of which they are unable to move on and commit to you as well but soon i see there's a change which is coming in their thought process in their mind and they are coming towards you okay there's there's so much of positivity the sun is coming out all of a sudden there's some kind of epiphany that is striking them they are moving on from the past hurt past baggage and they are moving on towards you with a lot of positivity they are trying to heal themselves balance this connection as well they are trying to work on this particular connection and i feel that they want you to be their friends first okay they see you they want you to be their you know best friends before they can commit to you with seven of swords they are just worried that what if a few also ditch them betray them two of swords is again that uh, stagnant energy wherein they are just blindfolded and thinking about it but then there is something now that is pushing them to offer a relationship a new beginning okay yeah i see that oh god hmm let's see what is the advice for you guys okay what is the advice please what is the advice here you are good enough and this is your affirmation for today comment below 
I am good enough. Okay. Comment below, down below again. I'm repeating, I am good enough. So you being guided that you are good enough, have faith in yourself, have trust in yourself because slowly and gradually the situation, your manifestation is coming true it's coming to the surface your wish fulfillment is happening and things are going to turn your way you are good enough have some um trust in yourself have trust uh you know have trust in the universe you are good enough you can turn around things okay your hard work is paying off see i told you didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't i i did right so your hard work is definitely paying off guys and you know how much you have struggled to get this person in your life, right? How much you want this person to come in your life. How much how much you have manifested for this person. How much you have you may have prayed. How much you have you may have dreamed about this day. Oh my god, yes. I I hear a relationship. I hear a relationship here. I'm not saying marriage, but yes, I hear a relationship here. There is something coming forward towards you. There is. Okay, let's see what are the messages here. I'm so happy, guys. I don't know why, but I'm feeling so emotional. Because from last so many days, I've been listening to... Uh, I've been doing all the negative, um, you know, updates, energy updates. Uh, there has been hope, but, you know, it breaks my heart when I give a, ne a negative energy update because... I don't know i feel equally bad whosoever is going through such situation you know such situations are not good okay but today it's like yes something good something positive is going to happen something good something good is about to happen something good is about to change your life something good all right let's see what are the messages here messages please okay how have you been doing okay your person wants to know probably you guys have not been in touch or speaking a lot because obviously they have been in touch into a tower moment but oh my god i feel so nice ten of cups ace of cups two of cups something is good okay coming 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 okay just hang on i feel stuck and trapped so they want to know that uh, how are you doing okay they feel stuck in trap because uh, of their past baggage of their own thinking okay self-inflicted thoughts and belief i want to tell you the truth see i told you they have been hiding they want to tell you the truth i know things ended but i still can't let you go i still desperately wait for you i know they do they do oh my god what else do we have I'm feeling so overwhelmed right now. I don't know. I have always been told to not show emotions. I don't know who told that. What else? I don't trust my own feelings. See? Didn't I tell you that? They are not sure. Hmm. Too many of them, but I'm going to read it out all. I feel guilty of not being honest, of course. Can we be intimate just for once? Somebody is very passionate. I really should have told you how I felt. Now they are regretting. Will you call me a stalker if I told you I'm watching you? I choose to keep you as my secret. Okay. I lost a piece of myself when I lost you. Bottom of the deck. Let's see what are the messages. I couldn't see things clearly earlier, but now I can. I still care for you. Yes, they do. No one touched my heart like you did. I cry for you every day. I don't want to lose you. Yes, they don't want to. They don't want to lose you. My God. Um, okay, so, uh, you know, uh, overall uh, energies today are quite an emotional one, okay? Till now, I used to feel that. Till now, you know, all the energy updates that I have done, Today is one energy update that I felt overwhelmed about. Okay. 
I'm feeling very overwhelmed today and something new, something good is coming. I don't know whosoever's energy I am catching up right now. But something good is coming from your person's end. And I'm feeling so good about it because I see that, f you know, even if your person is still confused, okay, hear me out now, hear me out. Even if your person is confused whether to get married to you, give you a commitment or not, I feel that they are madly in love with you and they are kind of giving up, okay, with the inner conflict. They are giving up. They are coming forward for at least with an offer of a relationship, at least that is the least that they have started thinking right now. At least that's the initiate any in, that's something that they are initiating now, okay, in their mind. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed and I really hope that your person comes forward towards you and offer their love. I really, really, really hope guys because you know when you when you want something the most universe conspires for you too. So keep manifesting, be positive, things will come and things will happen. You are good enough remember that okay you're good enough to achieve what you want you're good enough to get what you want you're good enough to deserve all the happiness all right so thank you so much for tuning into my channel guys thank you so much bye